All right, so I recently inherited a, uh, this is a Dell Latitude 5490. Um, so just looking around, seeing what's what. It's got a Core i5 with a maximum speed of 3.6 gigahertz. Um, laptop was built around maybe 2017, 2018. Um, so it's definitely a lot newer than most of the other stuff that I got. So it's definitely by far an upgrade, especially since I have an NVMe uh slot right here so it did originally have a 128 gig uh ssd but now i have it upgraded to a one terabyte this particular one is an intel but it is a intel uh one terabyte ssd so and i started looking around to see what else this laptop can do and there were some posts about possibly repurposing uh the wan slot which is this one over here so, a little bit of info. Um, decided to get this, uh, just to put this out there. You can find this info underneath the RAM slots. This tells you what revision of motherboard it is and what exact model it is. And uh, this happens to be the one that was posted online saying that it does recognize a second hard drive. So, uh, decided to give it a try. This one I have right here is a Transcend 512 gigabyte. Surprisingly, I found this one brand new in the package. Uh, so that's a brand new uh, hard drive. So, but usually this would be used for like a GPS tracker or something like that. It's got separate antenna cables that go right here. This laptop didn't have it. It was just an empty slot when I got it. So I figured I'd give it a try. Uh, put a, another hard drive in here just to see what would happen. And it does recognize it. So I'll show you what it looks like in the BIOS. All right. So take a look at the BIOS. If I go to system information here, we got the specs. Um... So I got some RAM. Here's the, uh, the CPU. It's a 8350U, uh, but its maximum speed is at 3.6 gigahertz. So, but taking a look further down, so it's got PCIe, which is our NVMe drive. That's what this one is, is that one terabyte drive. But then M2 SATA 2 is also 512 gigabytes. As you can see right here, so it definitely sees the hard drive. I see no, I don't see any issues with it. So this is a a laptop that I will probably be keeping, especially since it is a little bit beat up. It's got dents on it, like this laptop was dropped a few times. The bottom casing actually has a couple of cracks in it. Um, so I did get a second laptop just to try it. It's got an older, it's got an older revision motherboard, and uh, it didn't seem to recognize that uh, drive bay or that WAN slot as another drive. So seems to be only specific models of this laptop that can do that. So here I am uh, within Windows 10 and uh, here's my one terabyte drive. Uh, obviously that it's installed on. And then here we have the separate uh, 512 gigabyte drive that I've put in here. And you can see in here we got both uh, both drives being recognized in Windows. Uh, so this does seem to be working. Like I said, I think it does depend on which motherboard variant you have with this laptop. So if you have one of these, I can tell you for certain that this particular laptop revision does seem to work just fine with uh, two separate hard drives.